We got a bad one tonight, folks. Oh boy, do we ever. I know bad songs are what I do, but something like this only comes along once every couple years. And I know all I do is bash bad music, but I don't even know if I can properly rage at this one. Because at some point you just run out of hatred. Because when it gets this bad, there's just no point anymore. I mean, I wasn't even angry the first time I heard this song. I just laughed. You know, I, I don't want to make it sound like it's so bad it's good or it's a guilty pleasure or anything, because I, I certainly don't get any pleasure out of this. It's just, when I laughed, it was like the bitter, I give up kind of laughter, because this shit just keeps getting worse and worse, and it, I didn't expect to change anything, you know, but this song really struck me in the face with the fact that nothing I say matters, and no one is listening to me, because... You know, if they were, for one thing, we'd have gotten rid of Enrique Iglesias a long time ago. For me, Enrique is the definition of a singer who adds absolutely nothing to a song. The reason he's the only one who survived the end of the late 90s Latin craze is because he had the least personality, so he had an easier time adapting to new trends. The only interesting thing about the guy was the mole, and he doesn't even have that anymore, so I don't know why we need him around. I thought we actually had gotten rid of him for a while, but last year he was bigger than ever once he got on the T-Pain style club anthem bandwagon. No, no more of the quivering, sensitive, romance novel type lover shtick. Now he's a guy who can collaborate with the idiotic likes of Pitbull. Matter of fact, I think the new song was inspired by Pitbull. Huh. Maybe there's some kind of brain-switching accent or something. Would explain how Enrique wound up performing such a pinnacle of witlessness as this. You know, I forget sometimes a lot of you don't even listen to pop music. You don't even know what I'm talking about right now. I should get to the point. I know you want me. I need it obvious that I want you to. So put it on me. Put it on. No, it gets better. You know my motivation. Would you like to hear the uncensored version? But tonight I'm fucking you, you. This is not a song. This is an ad for Mace. Damn, like the way that you move. Ladies, they're out there, and throwing your drink in their face is just waste alcohol. Say it right, with Mace. You know, as a comedy reviewer, this is where I'm supposed to put in a funny analogy, you know? Oh my god, I can't believe he said that. That's so bad, that's like if he... If he what? If you want, I, I can't come up with anything worse. That is the bottom of the barrel until we come up with a song that actively exits your speakers and humps your leg. I, I don't know how I, a guy with absolutely no game whatsoever, got into the business of criticizing the pickup moves of men who are far more successful with women than I am, but you know, this is not even a pickup line, really. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't you supposed to offer something to the girl when you come onto her? Like, I, I'm not a fan of the Ying Yang Twins The Whisper song. And I'm not a fan of John Mayer's Your Body is a Wonderland. Your body is a wonderland. But I understand that they are offering you mind-meltingly good sex and a certain level of emotional intimacy, respectively. Enrique isn't offering you shit. Absolutely nothing. And it's not just those two songs either. Even the most abysmally worthless songs I've ever heard in this genre sound better now. You say what you want about that, at least it's a compliment! You already know I wanna fuck you. You know what? Say what you want about that song too. At least it's a request! Call me Mr. Flintstone. I can make it better. Oh my god, bedrock is like a Shakespearean love sonnet in comparison. I mean yeah, Enrique does try to compliment the girl a little, the dumbest way possible. You're so damn pretty. If I had a type then baby, it would be you. Or, in other words, you're not my type. I know you're ready. If 
If I never lied, then maybe you'll be the truth. What? If I never lied, then maybe you'll be the truth. Is that some kind of Zen thing? What the fuck did that mean? There is no way I should have trouble comprehending the lyrics of a song entitled Tonight I'm Fucking You. Here's the situation, been to every nation. Nobody's okay, yeah, yeah. I know there are guys out there who are so manly and charismatic that they can just simply tell their newest conquest that sex is going to happen and it happens. I feel confident in saying that that person is not Enrique. Would you cry if you saw me crying? Yeah, I'm not saying Enrique is an unattractive guy. I'm sure even without the fame and money, he could plow his way through more women than I've ever met in my entire life. But this, this is just not who Enrique is. I mean, when Akon does this, it's awful. Painfully awful. But you can't really get mad at him, because he's Akon. That's what he does. But not Enrique. Enrique's always been, you know, the smooth Latin lover kind of guy. Like, you know, I must teach you the ways of how you say the romance. You know, this. Not. This. Yeah, I, I think I lost the ability to believe he could pull this off when the song opened with Enrique's willowy falsetto cooing delicately like the lonesome whippoorwill through the open countryside. <laughs> yes sir, when Enrique starts yodeling through his nose, the panties drop. I mean, his daddy Julio knew how it worked, never saw him doing anything like this. I mean, come to think of it, maybe it's kind of a good thing that Enrique is such a wimpy, unthreatening kind of guy, because this song is kind of, um... How do I want to put this? Rapey? But tonight I'm fucking you! Tonight... You... It's, a, uh, It's a little rapey. I mean, something like this could be easily taken as a threat. Like, a legitimate, like, felony-level threat. And, and ladies, if you ever get to meet Enrique Iglesias, I'm sure he's charming, go talk to him, but... You know, just keep your hand over your drink and, uh, keep a friend close by, is all I'm saying. I mean, let's look at what Enrique himself says to justify this. It's probably what a lot of guys and girls think about at times, but they don't have the guts to say. Enrique? There's a reason I don't say, tonight I'm fucking you to every girl I like. And it's not because I don't have the guts. Seriously, were you raised in the wild? Society does have rules, you know. This is a toilet, Enrique. We do our business in here. This is a woman. Shake her hand. Say hi. Don't fling your shit at her. Oh, nice video, by the way. If you wanted to make a sex tape, Enrique, just leak one out, alright? And yeah, Ludacris does a guest verse. Look, I love Ludacris. I'll listen to Ludacris in anything. I can't hate on him. But okay, seriously, he's on every song. If you record a song in your basement and put it on your MySpace page, it'll have Ludacris on there somehow by the time it uploads. He was on a Justin Bieber song. Why? What does he have to do with Justin Bieber? Nothing. He was just on it because he's on everything. I mean, my keyboard comes with a Ludacris setting on it. Yeah. And as far as this particular verse goes, it's not that it's bad, it's certainly the best part of the song, but it's, it's a lot like Snoop Dogg's verse on California Girls. He can make anything sound good, but he was obviously not trying. Again, a little rapey. You got that body that made me wanna get up on the floor just to see you dance. And I love the way you shake that ass, turn around and let me see them pants. Those are some well-fitting pants. I love the way those look. You have to tell me where you got them. Turn around and let me see them pants. Lula, you know you can see her pants from any angle, right? Please excuse me, I don't mean to be rude. But where's my paycheck? Thank you, thank you. Have fun with your song, Taya Cruz, or whoever song I'm on today. But tonight I'm fucking you. And tonight he's... You know, I just don't think it's appropriate for a pop song to have the F-bomb right in the chorus. Okay, besides that. Hey, wait a minute. CeeLo has to rely on Glee to claw and fight his way into the top ten, and this pile of turds gets in there no problem? God, this world. Yeah, you know, it'd be one thing if Enrique was trying to be clever or funny like CeeLo, but he, it's not even that. It'd be better if he was trying to be cheaply provocative, but 
it, it's not shocking, it's just depressing. It's a sad commentary that this song, despite being one of the worst I've ever heard, is only somewhat stupider than most of the songs I cover. You know, tonight he's fucking you. And on behalf of pop music listeners everywhere, after this I think I agree that we're all pretty much fucked. Thanks for that, Enrique. Can you change the station, please?